Hi guys, welcome to our first video. As you can tell by the title, today I'll be showing you the first step of my makeup routine, shaping and filling my brows. First things first, let's go over the products and supplies I'm going to be using. Bobbi Brown's Perfectly Defined Longwear Brow Pencil. You can really use any type of pencil, um, brow pencil, but this is one of my favorites. I feel like it shades really well, doesn't get too dark, and it also has a spoolie at the other end. An eyebrow razor. This is also dependent on whatever you prefer. Um, this particular one came from, I believe, Walmart, and it came in a three pack. An angled makeup brush, or at least one with a very stiff edge. A full coverage foundation or concealer. I'm using Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 334 Warm Sun. So the first thing we're going to do is tweeze all of the excess hairs around your brows. I usually just go for anything that is outlying out of like my actual brow shape. I don't ever go too deep into my actual brow. That's what the razor will do later on. Once I feel like I've reached the majority of the outlying hairs, at least the ones that I can pick up with the tweezer, I move on to the next step, which is shaving. I then grab my razor and I get as close as I can to the brow without also grabbing any like large hairs within it. You don't want to end up with a bald spot. Um, and I just shave um, in every direction for the most part in every angle of my brow. Sometimes I'll use my finger to pull my brow a little bit more taut so I can get the finer hairs. This is the part that's probably the most important in getting the salon look of like freshly done eyebrows. Here I'm just utilizing my spoolie to just brush out my brows to make sure I get any of the loose hairs out. And then we're ready to move on to the second brow. We're just going to continue to do the same step as we did on the first one. One tip that I always try to tell people is that your brows will never be exactly the same as each other. So they're supposed to be cousins, not twin sisters. So just do what you can to make that brow that you're currently working on look its best. Don't worry about the other brow so much because you'll end up messing up a brow to make it look like the other. I've done it before, trust me. Just like focus on one brow at a time. I'm now shaving the second brow as I did the first. And then wiping them down with a bit of rubbing alcohol. Step three, I'm going to begin filling my brows with the perfectly defined long wear brow pencil by Bobbi Brown. And again, the shade for that is Saddle. Um, I believe this is the best shade if you have dark brown hair. I've used other brands and other styles of um, pencils for shading my eyebrows. They all pretty much work the same. I haven't really had any issues with any of them. The only difference to me is how dark they'll allow you to get with whatever um, style tip they have. Um, my tip for you would be to just go slow and light. You can always add more and make it darker and layer it in. It's better than going too dark. I like to use vertical strokes to do the arch and tail of my eyebrow as well as the bottom line of it all. But then I also like to use horizontal strokes for the front of my eyebrow to give it more of that natural look. How thick I feel in my brow honestly depends on the time of day, what time of year, where I'm going, wherever it is. Um, as of right now, my brows are a little thicker than normal since I've been growing them out since quarantine. Um, so I'm outlining more outwardly than I normally would while most days if I had tweezed them a little tighter, I may have made them a lot thinner and try to stay within my hairs and not so much outlining them. Next, I'm going to be outlining my brows with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. When I tell you I live by this foundation, I've been using it since I've been wearing makeup, which is like forever at this point. Um, I sometimes skip this step depending on what type of look I'm going for. If I'm going to wear something more natural or I'm not going to put on eye makeup, I may skip this look because it looks a little extra when you have like concealer around your eyebrows and it looks so crisp and you don't have any other makeup on. Um, 
but if I'm doing more of a full coverage look or like going out at night, like I'll definitely do this step. This is the same concealer I actually still use on my face during the winter time. Um, I go back and forth. Sometimes I'll use a concealer that's lighter than my skin tone around my eyebrows, but it really depends on, like I said, the look you're going for. If you use one that's closer to your skin tone, it's going to give you more of that natural look. If you use a lighter one, it's going to give you more of that salon, just got your eyebrows waxed look. So it just depends on like what your style is and what you're really going for and if you want your eyebrows to like stick out or if you're just looking for a clean look. Also when I'm outlining I try to avoid actually touching the hairs or the part where I've already applied um, my eyebrow pencil to. Once you start actually touching the hairs and the makeup you've already applied it starts to make it a little muddy. So I try to apply it just below my eyebrow line and just above my eyebrow line when I do the top of my brows and then smooth it out from there. You can use either a makeup brush or a beauty blender or your finger like I am here to smooth it out. I prefer my finger because I feel like I can get closer without actually messing up my brows um, like I've done in the past. So it just depends on whatever you prefer. And lastly, after I make sure my eyebrows are completely blended in, no concealers, like obviously like harsh lined out, um, I go in with my spoolie one more time. Make sure they're perfected and all the hairs are separated and we are good to go. And remember guys, this is just the first step in my makeup routine, so continue watching part two to see how I finish my makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely have part two up very soon, most likely within the next week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again soon.